Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about the interview questions on ad hoc testing. So I will be discussing about eight interview questions related to ad hoc testing. The first interview question is, what is ad hoc testing? Ad hoc testing is normally which we use in software testing. It is a kind of a testing which we do without having any proper planning or a documentation. When there is no proper planning and documentation, the kind of testing which we do is called as a ad hoc testing. Second question is, when do we really conduct the ad hoc testing? The ad hoc testing we normally do when we do not have enough time or enough resources in hand to complete that testing. That is the time we will be doing a ad hoc testing and also when there is no proper documentation or there is no proper clear test cases available with us even that is the situation we will be doing ad hoc testing and also once the, all the formal testing is done then we will be doing ad hoc testing to find out more issues in the application or a system then the third one is why do we do a ad hoc testing so ad hoc testing's main motto is to find issues in a random fashion or on the fly and we do ad hoc testing without having any pre-planned documentation and as well as any existing test cases will be used for testing this ad hoc testing now also ad hoc testing we also call it as a unstructured way of testing where we will be doing more of a informal testing. Many times we will find very good defects as well while doing ad hoc testing because we will be covering lot of uh, innovative creative test scenarios while doing ad hoc testing because of that we will be finding lot of crazy defects as well as part of ad hoc testing. Then the fourth interview question is how do we do ad hoc testing. So ad hoc testing will be done by considering all the valid invalid scenarios logical and illogical scenarios we won't be seeing anything whether you have a brain or whether you do not have a brain still we will going to do all kinds of testing our main goal of doing ad hoc testing is to break the application on whatever the scenario which we are going to execute it doesn't matter main goal is try to break without following any rules and regulation and see whether application still works or not. That is the main motto of ad hoc testing. Complete freedom will be provided to the developers and tester completely free handed and they can go and execute any part of the application to find out more issues. In the fifth interview question is what is ad hoc testing versus exploratory testing. Normally the ad hoc testing is nothing but it is a more of we will be learning the application before we are starting the testing. But in exploratory testing, we will be doing both the learning and testing the software simultaneously. That what are the advantages of ad hoc testing? As we just discussed, it is a more of an informal, unstructured way of doing testing. And because of that, lot of freedom given to the developers and tester, you can find more defects. The second one is, Apart from testing the application by the testing team, even the application can be tested by any other people using this ad hoc testing. And the third one is, when we have a less time, if you wanted to find out more issues, more quality issues, then ad hoc testing is a, one of the major advantage where we can get as many defects possible while doing ad hoc testing. Then the fourth one is documentation is not at all required. That is the beauty of ad hoc testing. Then the seventh question is what are the disadvantages of ad hoc testing? We just discuss about advantages. Now we will discuss about disadvantages of ad hoc testing. The ad hoc testing is a more of an unstructural or informal way of testing. That means you can find out as much as good defects as well. But the major challenge is reproduction because we do not have enough detailed test cases as part of the documentation. If we find more issues again over the period we will be finding difficult in reproducing these issues. And the second one is 
we may be finding good scenarios and because of that we may find uh, good defects as well because these good scenarios or good test cases are not documented because this testing is done by ad hoc way because of that in future if any tester or any developer left in the middle then whatever the knowledge these people add or scenarios with they add in their brain or in their mind even those will go away because those scenarios are not documented because of that it is also another major disadvantage factors of ad hoc testing then the third major disadvantage is ad hoc testing only gives good results when we are using the right set of people who is having a good knowledge on the application the eighth interview question is can you give certain examples for ad hoc testing for an ad hoc testing we can provide various uh, examples i have given few examples for this ad hoc testing one is uh, for a given application is implemented across various platforms let's say we have android we have windows we have macintosh linux unix boxes and if you wanted to run this test randomly across different platforms different browser configuration then we will see how the application really behave that is also one example for ad hoc testing then the second one is inputting for all the text fields or any fields available in the page or screen or a form with the all the valid and invalid conditions boundary conditions or extreme conditions then we will see how the application really behaves even that is also a part of ad hoc testing as well and the third one is especially for web application testing when after logging in a particular application web application with a user credentials then we take that uh, url then we will be copy pasting in uh, different browsers in the different systems and to see whether we could able to log in with those logged in uh, url or not our goal is to find out is there any unauthorized access is possible when we are using the copy pasted url that is also another example of ad hoc testing then the fourth one is by doing all browser back and front uh, operations in a browser while accessing the website then we will see how the application really behaves even this is also a very good example for ad hoc testing i hope now you got a clear idea like how to answer these eight important questions on ad hoc testing if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care